My name is Ben Miller. I'm with the Mesa County Sheriff's Office. I'm the Unmanned Aircraft Program Director. Uh, I've worked for the Mesa County Sheriff's Office for the last 13 years, and the last six of those, seven of those, have been uh, directing our Unmanned Aircraft Program. Um, we got interested real early on, um, I think, in the the progression of unmanned aircraft in the United States and we've been quite successful with the FAA as far as uh, applying for and receiving COAs. Uh, currently we operate uh, five different systems um, from an exploratory perspective, kind of determining what they can do, how they can benefit society, um, and really the ways that they can really improve upon our day-to-day -day operations. And interestingly enough what we've found is that it's really not a a capability improvement in that we've been able to fly for a long time um, both from a public safety perspective and from a from a survey perspective but really what it's doing for us is uh, it comes in significantly more efficiently uh, and, and the dollars spent are quite a lot less. Uh, the cost of operation for your average helicopter is anywhere from 250 to a thousand dollars an hour. Our data over the last six years has said that uh, cost of operation for unmanned aircraft is just $25 an hour. Um, typically, from a survey perspective, we'll hire manned aviation to do uh, aerial surveys of our landfill. And from the photos, they can do volumetric calculations and many other things that they're required to do annually. Now, with the Trimble aircraft, and specifically the UX-5, we're hoping to reduce that cost of operation in just that single mission, and then look to explore into other survey uh, type operations in the future. So it's been a, an interesting last six years uh, and we're really excited now to get uh, our first COA on the Trimble UX-5 um, and really put it out there, see what kind of data we can collect um, and, uh, and really see how we can put that data to good use for the community. Um, we're really looking to make unmanned aircraft not just a public safety asset but really a, a community asset, seeing where we can use it in many different places. Today, we're out here training. Um, we're doing our first initial flights, our manufacturer training with Trimble, with Gatewing, um, and getting guys uh, to that point where they're proficient. They can launch the equipment into the air and it can take the photos that they need um, and assist their, their survey work back at the office. Um, the COA process uh, that we've successfully completed with the FAA um, uh, it, it is an interesting situation. I would tell you that six years ago it just kind of seemed uh, relatively non-attainable, but now after um, receiving multiple COAs over the last few years, uh, I think my opinion is a little bit different. Um, I can tell you that we've experienced the FAA's willingness to submit uh, or, or to approve COAs to allow us to fly and, and that's been uh, beneficial uh, and, and it's been uh, you know, relatively productive for us over the last couple of years. So we're excited to get the COA. Um, uh, the specifics about the COA, not to go into a significant amount of detail because I think you could talk for hours on it, but um, the bottom line, a customer inside the United States uh, would submit for a COA. And a COA is COA, stands for Certificate of Authorization or Waiver. The FAA will issue COAs to public agencies, or what's easily more described as any division of government within the United States. As a public agency, being the Mesa County Sheriff's Office and, and uh, the Greater Mesa County Government, a public agency, we've submitted for a COA and received a COA for the UX-5. It, allow it allows us to fly anywhere inside Mesa County during the day, which obviously is no limitation when you're doing survey work, um, as the sun needs to be up to take photos. Um, that COA process uh, is specific to the piece of equipment you're flying, or the model of unmanned aircraft as well as a geographic area so we've defined that in this COA as Mesa County is only applicable to uh, divisions of government or public entities. We've decided long ago that we want to walk in the front door with the FAA instead of skirting around the back. Um, we believe that we've created a credibility over the last few years um, and we've used that credibility uh, to work with the FAA to improve the process. Uh, I can tell you that the COA process is much more usable 
um, and much more relevant to mitigating safety and the use of unmanned aircraft in the national airspace than it was six years ago. Um, that process can be lengthy for the newcomer. However, once you kind of get the hang of it and you know the specifics of the information that's required, um, it goes relatively quickly. Uh, I would say after six years, we can get a COA uh, packet or COA application together within just a few hours. Um, there's specific data you need from the manufacturer on the performance of the aircraft. Uh, there is a letter um, signed by a legal entity within the government that would um, address the fact that you truly are a division of government. Um, and then there's also an air, what they call an AWR, which we refer to as the airworthiness letter. 